the rookie running back number 20, Brees Hall, have you any early impressions of him? What's your name again? Steve. Sir. Steve. Your coach. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Brees. I mean, he came in and he just uh, hit it rolling. Um. Coach had him uh, really coached up really well, and I think he's digesting the playbook really well. So I'm excited for him. You know, finally get the the ball rolling in training camp. Have you noticed physically what he offers yet? As in, like what? As a running back, as a pass catcher. Oh, I mean, when he got the rock, man, I feel like he can roll. So, I mean, I just can't wait to, you know, put the pads on so he's really hitting the hole. So, that's what we're really excited about is offensive line. Nathan, obviously, with the age and this mini camp, it's limited how much the big guys are doing. Right. What, what, do, you, what do you get out of these sessions and kind of last month? What, what have you gotten out of it? Excuse me, what's your name again? Brian. Brian. Yeah, um, I mean, OTA is a great chance for, you know, uh, for me personally to get to know the guys. Um, you know, uh, obviously coming from uh, being a new player on the team, uh, just uh, just my presence alone, I feel like, you know, will really help, you know, a lot of the guys um, just learn more about me and, you know, build better chemistry, especially amongst the offensive linemen. So um, just being here, um, you know, being a new guy on the team, I feel like I can help the, the team that way. What? Rich, by the way. Um, Rich. Was yesterday the first time you met Makai, and what were your initial impressions, and what do you know about him as a player, and, and, and what ways can he help? Yeah, uh, it was my first time uh, physically meeting him, but, you know, we've been texting ever since I've been signed. So, um, you know, obviously he, had, he has a baby uh, you know, recently, and uh, congratulations to him. Mom was all good as well. Um, but, you know, just physically meeting him, man, he's like a physical specimen. So uh, I just remember looking up, and I was like, man, this kid is this kid is this kid is huge so uh no it was great meeting him you know uh get to you know hear a little bit more about him personally but uh he's a hell of, hell of a kid how beneficial is it for you going from an offense in san francisco to another really similar offense here in new york where you don't have to worry about maybe learning a completely new scheme or a completely new playbook uh, what's your name again? Connor. Connor. Um, I mean, uh, it's fairly similar for me, uh, the technique-wise. Um, for me right now, it's just building that chemistry to the guy to my left and my right. So, um, you know, the more I can be here, you know, just as a player, to build that chemistry, trying to be that connection between the center and the tackle, I mean, I feel like I can uh, do a lot for this offense. Does that ease, though, the transition in terms of, like, you're not having to worry about – you know, chemistry and playbook. It's just the chemistry. Sure. Right. I mean, the benefit for me um, being this type of offense is that I have most of the terminologies in the playbook already installed. So um, I can just go out there and uh, execute. So um, guys can get that feedback from me, and they can use that to build that chemistry. Uh, Dan, when a coach goes from one team to another and brings the offense with him, in the case of, case of Coach LaFleur, You'd be a perfect guy to ask this because you've been in both situations. How much do they change? What do they change when they go from one place to another? Same system, but they're obviously going to tweak some things. I mean, obviously, everyone's going to put in their, their uh, different um – uh, philosophies in there uh, and coach it a little bit differently because um, you know they're different people so um but uh that's a lot of things i would say more like um slightly different words and uh different um coaching emphasis so i said that'll be the difference uh, dj uh how good do you guys think how good do you, do you think the offensive line could be this year <laughs> i think it could be one of the best you know, just look around at all the guys that we got. I mean, um, I feel like we can uh, – <laughs> I feel like it would be one of the best offensive line in the league. How what do you know about it? George Fant being in the division with him out there? Pardon? What do you know about George Fant? You, I don't know if you crossed over in that division out there when he was in Seattle, George Fant. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you know, played against him before. I, I shook his hand. <laughs> And uh, obviously, you know, coming here and meeting him uh, back in phase one, uh, you know, he's a great guy, um, f really fun to talk to, uh, a great, lock great locker room guy as well. So, um, like I said, man, I'm excited to work with these guys, man, come training camp. Uh, I'm Andy. Just what are your initial impressions of Elijah Vera Tucker? And when we were talking to him earlier, he said that when they signed you, he didn't mind switching sides. So just how did that kind of all play out? From your standpoint? I mean, um, just from the get-go, I mean, he's just been great. Um, you know, uh, especially in, like, phase one, he's been here and uh, out there competing with him. You know, he's the one of the guys that jumped off for me from the get-go when it comes to uh, paying attention to detail and um, applying the, the 
uh, playbook with his technique and his physical characteristics. So, um, I mean, awesome guy, man. Awesome to watch him play, watch him learn every day, and I'm I'm super excited for him this year. Does that make it a lot easier for you not to have to, to switch sides? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, that was just a conversation that you know we had with, with uh, Lafleur and uh, Kosala, and uh, they worked it out. Are there things you learned um, from playing with Trent Williams the last couple of years? Oh yeah. He's a pretty special player. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Is there something you, can you pass that along to a guy like Kai, who's a young player? Or oh, I mean, yeah, for sure, of course. I mean, um, obviously working with. You know, I had Joe Staley first, and then I had uh, Trent Williams. You know, there's definitely some things uh, in their game that I've seen. I've seen work, you know, in this system, and there's definitely some things that I can, you know, uh, help, uh, you say, like a younger tackle, you know, um, bridge that gap a little bit when it comes to developing in this system.